What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So, as you guys can see, I am inside of my reptile room. Now, in today's video, I wanted to do a how to set up slash how to care for an Amazon tree boa. Now, like many of you guys may or may not know, right, I picked up two Amazon tree boas in my previous video and I did an unboxing video on like you know me handling them and whatnot and I thought you know what maybe someone out there wants to get one of these vicious snakes because that, that snake tried to rip my face off I swear <laughs> so I wanted to do a quick how to set up video um, and give you guys some tips and tricks on how to keep them and while I'm at it I'm also gonna be doing a green tree python you know tips and tricks on how to care for them because there's been a few of you guys out there who really really want to get a green tree python or an arboreal species so today is that day today I'm gonna be helping you guys out because today is that type of arboreal type of day so with that being said I have the enclosures in the background ready to go so let's get started with this video let's go it's time to show them what I'm really on They give money but the haters here yeah, now they gone I've been putting all this work into every song Let me show them what I'm really on They don't really know what I'm on yeah, Work around the clock, yeah, call me a dime Took me six old years and hundreds of songs Just to show the whole world that a boy do belong Yeah, sure. Okay, so as you can see right now in front of me, I have the Amazon tree boas enclosures that I'll be using. Now these enclosures are um, 12 by 12 by 18. Now you might be thinking, well, that, that's a little bit tiny, you know, that's a little bit small. But since I have baby Amazon tree boas, these setups are perfect for them. Now, the one thing that you want to keep in mind when picking a setup is to give it something that has a lot of height that way you could have a whole bunch of different types of branches that your Amazon tree boa could climb on now it's very important that your enclosures could keep a lot of humidity so if you have maybe a PVC enclosure it might hold it a little bit more better than these glass enclosures but if you could maybe seal the top or do some modifications to the enclosures you guys would be a-okay <laughs> now Amazon tree boas are an arboreal species so that means that they like to climb so I have a whole bunch of these leaves that I'll be sticking onto the side of the enclosures giving them something to climb on now when the Amazon tree boa gets a lot older they're actually gonna be the size of my green tree python more or less about that size so you want to upgrade this enclosure to a bigger one so this is really a temporary enclosure but you could do more or less the same setup to a much bigger enclosure because it's very similar. You can't really go wrong with a smaller enclosure and then transferring it over to a bigger enclosure. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do to these enclosures is add a whole bunch of little things that they could climb on. Now, as you can see, I already added some eco earth, so I am good there. So let's get started with this setup. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, I already set up my Amazon tree boas enclosure. I added some leaves to the very top corners. That way it could help them, you know, and they could have a place to hide. I added a water dish, and I also added in this enclosure a nice cute rock in the corner for decoration. Now, when it comes to Amazon tree boas, they don't really need much per se, but they really do need some sort of, um, you know, things that they could hide in, and of course they need water to drink from. And the most important thing that they need is a pretty high humidity. 
um, level inside of their enclosures. Believe it or not, these guys' enclosures actually need to reach a really high end 90% of humidity. Now that is pretty, pretty high um, for you know any type of reptile. But these guys come from South America, so in those types of you know environments, it's always really, really humid. And here in Canada, sometimes in the winter, it is not humid. So adding a good substrate like Eco Earth or something that helps up with the humidity and the constant use spraying it every single morning and in the afternoons would help out your Amazon tree boa thrive inside of their enclosures. Now, believe it or not, Amazon tree boas don't really need that much heat. Their heat should be just about 88, just like how it is right here. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Now, come on, 88, 88, what? Everything but 88, are you serious? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so the temperatures actually have to be really, really low compared to other um, snakes out there. Their temperatures need to be anywhere from 86 to 88. It could go a little bit higher than that, but you don't want it to go really, really high. Now, inside of my room right now, it is about 80. So as you can see, it is not too far from it being the ideal temperature for an Amazon tree boa. So what I did was I added, you know, a light that doesn't get really, really that hot. And I also added a timer that constantly turns on and off the light. That way, um, if it gets really, really hot inside of my room, the lights in here will turn off because sometimes in the summer, it gets about that 86. So I don't even sometimes have to have the lights on inside of, um, you know, my Amazon tree boas enclosure or even my green tree python. So these guys are actually pretty, pretty good when it comes to keeping, when it comes to, you know, their heating. They don't really require really, really high temperatures. Now, a very similar snake to the Amazon tree boa would be my green tree python. Now, these guys have a very, very similar care when it comes to heat and how much times you should feed it. These guys right here, believe it or not, you know, people have different opinions on whether it bites or, and, and they're aggressive, but this one in particular has really never shown any aggression towards me. As you can see right now, she is sleeping, <laughs> but she has never really shown much aggression um, towards me, even though she has that evil look like, don't touch me, back off, did not touch me. <laughs> But she has never really bit me, but I have had some green tree pythons in the past bite me. But to be honest, if you guys give them, you know, some attention and just give them their personal space, they would respect you and they would not bite you. As you can see, I'm moving my hand in here and she is not striking whatsoever. But then again, I'm not going to be poking at her face and provoking her to bite me. Now, what I'm gonna be doing now for my Amazon tree boas is actually make these perches. And believe it or not, I actually made these, you know, custom made. <laughs> and my green tree python really loves it. As you can see, she's just sitting on top of her perch, just getting nice and warm. Oh yeah, you, you like that, huh? You like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be making these perches for my Amazon tree boas and also for my um, green tree python where she already has it. And maybe some of you guys out there who have an arboreal species or have something maybe like, you know, a day gecko or something like that, that you guys wanna add this to because it just looks kinda cool and it's easy to make. You guys could do it as well because I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So let's get started with that build. Let's go. Okay, so. I have this little piece of PVC pipe right here that I'm gonna be using to make um, basically these perches right here. As you can see, this one has already been started, but with this, it's very, very, very easy. Believe it or not, I all I do with this is just burn it. Now, I wouldn't recommend um, if you're, you know, you're under age to be using this because this is what I'm gonna be using to burn it. I wouldn't recommend you guys doing this. Get one of your parents to do it, but it's very, very simple and easy to do. Okay, so the very first thing that you wanna do is actually light this up. So let's do this right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> This right here looks intimidating. Now from there, believe it or not, this is probably the very easiest part of them all. You just basically have to burn this to whatever design you want. So look at this, look at that. We got a nice little burn mark there. We got a nice little burn mark right there. Then we just, you know, oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Did all the favors, they never repay me. Worked in my favor, nobody's, nobody's saying me. Okay, so I basically finished up making these perches. As you can see, I added some um, suction cups at the end of it just so it could stick onto the glass. And not too bad when it comes to, you know, how they came out and how they looked. Now I cut it to the measurement that I needed. Now they're gonna be resting just like that. I'm gonna put one down here as well. I'm pretty happy on how they came out because they're, you know, they're pretty cheap to make and they give the enclosure a really, really cool look to it, just like my green tree python over here. Oh yeah. Now the cool thing about these PVC um, tubes over here, you can make it just about any size. So maybe you could even make it as big as, you know, a PVC enclosure that's like four feet long. So who knows? <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> so as you can see, this is not too bad. Oh yeah, so this is like all ready to go. We got a couple branches in here, you know, where we got that one down the middle, then we got a couple places it could hide. Now remember, this is for a baby Amazon tree boa, so if you were to get an adult Amazon tree boa, you kind of just want to make this a lot bigger and maybe add a lot more things to it that's a lot more stronger. Um, my green tree python, as you can see, I use suction cups and it has no problems with it. But the one thing that I've noticed when it comes to um, these suction cups is that you have to make sure it's really dry and then when you're misting them to not really wet it because they can fall and it has happened in the past, but you have to really be careful and not wet the suction cups and just mist around your green tree python or Amazon tree boa. Oh yeah. Okay, so with my Amazon tree boas, I already made an unboxing video. I'll put the link in the description down below, but these guys right here are actually pretty feisty and they will try to bite you any opportunity that they have. Look at that. <laughs> now, to me, it's pretty impressive. Um, their patterns and every little thing about them, especially the way that they, you know, find a a place to kind of just go in there and bask because these guys at a very very young age could climb just about anything come on let's go back inside your enclosure go inside of your enclosure <laughs> hey no go inside of your enclosure ah, there we go he's already wrapping himself around the perch just what I wanted him to do oh yeah now he's probably gonna go look for somewhere else to hide because it is daytime, but in the nighttime, you'll see them more or less hanging like this, hunting for food, and maybe even drinking some water. But he's just gonna explore his enclosure now. Now, it's actually feeding time for these guys. So what I'm gonna be doing is actually feeding my green tree python and feeding my Amazon tree boa. So, let's get started with that. Let's go. Okay, so I waited until it was a little bit more later on in the day where these guys become a little bit more active to feed them as you can see right now i have the little tiny rodents inside of here i got this little tiny one for my amazon tree boas and both of these for my green tree python so this is going to be quite an interesting feeding because i've never fed um, these little guys so i'm hoping that they eat because as you can see this guy right now is in that striking position and he's hunting for food and he's just like looking there this guy up here he's coming out as well and is also hunting for food so fingers crossed both of them eat okay so we're gonna start off with this little guy to see if he wants to eat a little tiny pinky oh oh oh, <laughs> oh my god look at that that honestly right there is probably the smallest snake I've ever fed because these pinkies are super super tiny look at that he's like just hanging off his perch that I made him earlier and he's just like he's just eating all right so now it's time to get this guy to eat I'm gonna get this little tiny pinky 
See if he wants to eat. Kind of tease him. Oh. Oh, he's straight. Oh, come on, little guy. Come on, come on. Okay, this guy might not be hungry. Now, when it comes to Amazon tree um, boas or just any arboreal species, they're usually coming out and eating at night. So this guy might still be sleeping and being like, you know what, I don't want to eat. Where this guy was like already hunting for food and he wanted to eat and strike. So hopefully this guy eats, but if he doesn't, I'm going to probably feed this guy one more time. Okay, so the next one up would be my green tree python. I have this little tiny um, thawed out rat. Let's see if he wants to eat it. Oh, it seems intrigued. Seems intrigued. Oh, <laughs> yeah, see that? That was, that was intense. <laughs> Now, I would not want that to be my finger right now because these guys have really 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 sharp teeth Oh my goodness now believe it or not Amazon tree boas and green tree pythons have very similar care and they eat just about the same amount um, Usually I feed these guys maybe about like once a month sometimes every two weeks or every 14 days especially around let's say this time where these guys are more active because in the winter they tend to slow down a little bit because temperatures do get a little bit colder and the humidity tends to drop so I don't really want to force any food onto them so I just let it be and look at her chowing it down look at those teeth okay we're gonna feed her a second one ready need the second one there you go come on eat it oh yeah <laughs> look at those teeth oh my goodness she did not want to eat this one it took her some time I had to like really really bug her oh my goodness now like I said I don't really like to feed my green tree python as much these are really small meals that I'm giving her and I'm giving her two so it equals to a really a much bigger meal the main reason is I don't want my green tree python to have too much food in its belly where it regurgitates and to be honest that's gonna do more harm than good to the green tree python feeding it such a big meal so what I'm gonna be doing as you can see is I'm feeding it two little tiny meals and she's just chowing it down now that my Amazon and green tree pythons had their meals I'm gonna give them some time where I'm not gonna handle them whatsoever because like I said, I don't want them to be puking or regurgitating anything that they just ate. So this girl right here is just gonna to have to go back to sleep and chill. Look at her. Okay, so believe it or not, it is actually the next morning. Now my Amazon tree boys and my green tree python I fed them last night now these guys tend to be more active around this time especially my green tree python as you can see it is the next morning and she is just like completely knocked out she's not even moving her little tail right there <laughs> so the same thing goes for my Amazon tree boas they are just sleeping especially this one who ate two two little tiny pinkies now remember the Amazon tree boa that I try to feed that did not want to eat. Well, I woke up this morning and I found this inside of its enclosure. Yeah, that right there is an Amazon tree boa shed. So my Amazon tree, tree boa was actually in shed while I was trying to feed it, which is actually a good thing that it did not eat because that probably would have been very, very uncomfortable um, for it. But to be honest, I had no idea it was actually in shed. Um, it, it was quite the surprise waking up this morning. I'm like, you were in shed the whole time and I couldn't um, find out how, I, I couldn't figure it out. Because you know, ball pythons usually have this like blue tint to their eyes when they're in shed. But Amazon tree boas, well this one in particular, I could not tell it was in shed. This thing is actually pretty, pretty impressive. You can still see the patterns that the Halloween um, Amazon tree boa has and you could definitely still see the eyes like right there. Let me let me zoom in Let, let me zoom in. Look, look at this. You can still see the eye socket. It's right about there 
No, uh, I don't know. To me, I always like seeing, you know, snake shed. It's always so cool to see, and especially since it doesn't bite me. <laughs> it's always, you know, an interesting thing to, to handle. And it's a good indication that it's a perfect shed, meaning the humidity inside of the Amazon tree boa is dead on. And I just got these snakes, so my husbandry is on point. Check this out, look at this. Look, this, this is how confident I am. Look at this, this is supposed to be at 86 or 88. So I'm gonna aim for 88, look at this, 88, 88, 88. Oh, oh what the? <laughs> hey, 87? What is this? <laughs> Okay, so inside of this container, I picked up a couple creatures that are gonna help me out with the cleaning. So if you zoom in, but you, but you gotta zoom in closer. Oh, you see that? Oh, it disappeared. But these guys right here are actually isopods. Now, this right here is Mother Nature's cleaning crew. These guys were just about eat everything. As you could see, I put a piece of carrot there that they're already starting to eat. Um, but these guys are honestly really, really cool. Let me see if I could take one out to show you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the little guy. Now, a lot of people know these guys as potato bugs, roly polies, um, you know, even some isopods. A whole bunch of different names comes for these guys. And believe it or not, these guys are not even bugs. These guys are a lot more related to shrimp and, you know, crayfish than to actual bugs now I'll probably do a video on just these guys alone because I plan on getting a whole colony going on um, to get these guys you know inside of my enclosures and cleaning it up what are you doing <laughs> so this guy right here is actually you know the zebra one so this guy is like just amazing looking with all of those stripes look at this little guy where is he going now I also picked up look at this look at this all of these guys over here so this right here is gonna be my cleaning crew there's actually about 80 inside of here that you know they actually gave birth oh my goodness there's little tiny babies in here there were, those babies were not here earlier that is that is cool okay so as you can see we got them right here I scooped them up I'm just gonna place the dirt inside of there there's actually a whole bunch of babies in here as well so this is going to be interesting to see them grow up and also breed and you know slowly grow the colony and you know my enclosures will be all clean let's put these guys inside of here hey don't bite me do not bite me oh yeah oh yes oh yeah got my cleaning crew in there is there any more nope there's no more hopefully I can keep you guys updated on these guys and these guys make it and yeah I mean if they're already breeding that's already a good sign that you know they're okay that they're all in there oh my goodness look at that that's the whole familia right there okay so my Amazon tree boas are all set up I got some isopods in there they're gonna be cleaning the substrate these guys are doing perfectly fine this guy actually shed so he is doing great and we also got my green tree python always doing amazing, acting beautiful. Look at her. That's a picture right there. <laughs> so with that being said, if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you want to see a more in-depth video on any of my reptiles, let me know in the comments down below, especially on the green tree python or on the Amazon tree boa because this video was more, you know, touching around the subject. Because I did set up my green, uh, my Amazon tree boas, but I didn't really talk in details about them because I feel like in one video, it is not enough. There is so much information out there to be shared. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on any of my reptiles, let me know in the comments down below. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'm Lord the Lion, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. <laughs>